How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is my blog for today. Everybody is talking today about the one thing. This is all the headlines all over America. The new revolution that just took place in this country. They act like it's an actual revolution. Like it's the most unbelievable happening in the history of American politics that a powerful president like this, who just won one of the most brilliant victories at, to the level of a phenomenal landslide where he's controlling both houses of Congress and could control any legislation he pleases. And all of a sudden he was vanquished by an unknown guy in Massachusetts in a, in, a, in a race that was considered impossible for him to lose. Inconceivable. It's as if Babe Ruth all of a sudden was vanquished by a six-year-old kid on a baseball field. They cannot believe that this happened. Now, let me ask you a question. This man, obviously, Barack Obama is a brilliant political tactician. That's why he was able to be, actually beat the Clintons at their own game. The Clintons were considered the most brilliant political team probably of the last hundred years. Everybody was idolizing their unbelievable powers, and they thought of him as an upstart who could never get anywhere against them because he had nothing in his favor compared to them. All he had was two years in the Senate, and everybody felt that this is nothing compared to Hillary Clinton following her husband into the presidency. And everybody assumed that it's impossible, he's wasting his time, he's kidding himself, he's in the wrong business, he's a nice man, good luck to him, but why doesn't he stop kidding himself? It's as if, as if my sister-in-law was competing with me as a comedian. And she's a chef in Pittsburgh, and I'm a comedy star for 30 years, considered the best and the biggest, and all of a sudden, she's funnier than me. It's ridiculous to even imagine a thing like that. So I ask you a question. How did it happen that this genius of a tactician was able to adjust to the thinking of the people to follow them so carefully and so closely that he was outsmarting and outmaneuvering everybody against him and reached the presidency in a way that was considered unbelievable? How did he suddenly become so helpless? How did he become a man who acts like he's on the level of a moron or an idiot? The fact of the matter is he's a genius in terms of political tactics. There's nobody smarter or shrewder than him probably alive today in this country. But his intelligence has nothing to do with it. What happened to him is something psychological. He decided that he wasn't elected as a president, he was elected as a king. And the will of the people suddenly means nothing to him because he's going to create a healthcare program that every poll shows is impossible to pass because nobody wants it and nobody could stand it and every poll shows that the whole country is against it. And this man who followed the polls in order to become the president all of a sudden doesn't care what the people think. Now, this is both obnoxious and arrogant and disgusting because the truth of the matter is that if I got you the job and I'm talking about the American public, you owe me something, don't you? If it was any other field, if it wasn't the presidency and you wasn't working and all of a sudden I got you the best job in the country, how would it look if you all of a sudden don't care what I think? What would people think of you if suddenly I don't matter? If I got you the job, I totally don't matter. If all I'm asking you in return is a healthcare program that I could tolerate. My health is the only thing I'm asking for in return. And I feel this will keep me sick and another plane could get me healthy. And I'm asking you for a program that I could appreciate, that I think will save my life in an emergency and will do everything for me in order to stay a healthy human being. That's all I'm asking you for. Is that too much to ask if I got you a job like that? You would say to yourself, this is an ungrateful, disgusting person. How could he defy me? How could he have that character that doesn't nothing counts to him except his own position, his own power, and his own status, and that you, all of a sudden nothing matters except him? Now, this sounds unbelievable, but unfortunately, he's done a lot of unbelievable things. And this is only the latest one of them. I'm not surprised that a man who could sit in the church for 20 years and never heard what the priest said, now all of a sudden doesn't hear what the people say. They got him the job and he all of a sudden doesn't remember who got him the job, what country he's in, and what kind of a job he has. He was an elected king. You were elected president. Stop imagining you're a king. Read the paper. Find out you're the president of America. You're supposed to represent the will of the people, especially the people who got you the job. Forget it. You're not the king. You're the president. And if you could read the paper, you'll stop acting like a king. Act like you're the man who deserves the job. And the people who got you the job count all of a sudden. They're the ones who belong here. And so do you. But not in this position, the position they elected you to.